Good evening and welcome to the June 10th, 2014 meeting of the Downers Grove Village Council. It's my pleasure to call this meeting to order. Uh, we usually start our meetings with the Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag and tonight we are honored to have some young men from Troop 57 here to help us with the pledge. Gentlemen, if you'd like to come up here to the front and we will uh, ask you for some help with the pledge. You guys want to get over here by this table so they can catch you on TV? Flag's right back here. And you guys can go ahead and start. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great job, guys. Remember, now we're going to turn around and say hi to everybody at home. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. Troop 57 from St. Paul's Church in Downers Grove. Great job, guys. Thanks for being here tonight. April, could you please call the roll? Yes. Commissioner Jose? Here. Commissioner Olson? Here. Commissioner Rankin? Here. Commissioner Barnett? Here. Commissioner Neustadt? Here. Commissioner Durkin? Here. Mayor Tully? Thank you. Uh, we'll move on to uh, item number three on our agenda, minutes of council meetings. Uh, council meeting of June 3rd, 2014. Is there a motion to approve those meeting minutes as presented? So moved. Second. Any questions or comments from anybody on the council for those issues, those meeting minutes from the audience? Seeing none, uh, roll call please. Commissioner Durkin? Aye. Commissioner Olson? Aye. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Rankin? Aye. Commissioner Barnett? Aye. Commissioner Neustadt? Aye. The minutes are passed unanimously. Now quickly we're on to item number four where we entertain uh, items for public comment not appearing on our agenda. If you have a public comment for the village council, please come down to the podium. Give us your name and address, and we'd be happy to hear uh, general comments that are not appearing on our agenda tonight. Hello, uh, my name is Paul Zalduendo. I live at uh, 603 72nd Street here in Downers Grove. Uh, today I'm here representing the Young Professionals Network Committee of the Downers Grove Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, here to promote a uh, pancake breakfast fundraiser that we are hosting for the second year in a row. Uh, it is on June 22nd. It's going to be held at the First Congregational Church of Christ right across the street from the library here downtown Downers Grove. Uh, hours of 8 a.m. till noon. Uh, tickets will be $5 pre-sale. They're available at a few different locations throughout the, the village, uh, but also available on the Chamber of Commerce's website. You can buy them ahead of time, as I mentioned, for $5, or you can buy them day of the event at the door for $6. The funds were being raised. Uh, we're raising them for a scholarship fund, which we've been um, raising money for over the last several years to award a scholarship to a student at Downers Grove North and Downers Grove South High School um, each year to help promote uh, our goal of uh, developing the next generation of business leadership here in the community. So uh, it's going to be a big event. We encourage all of you to uh, try to attend. It is the Sunday of Rotary Grove Fest. So if you happen to be uh, downtown Downers Grove that weekend, we encourage you to pop in and have a few uh, hot cakes and, uh, and some coffee on us. So uh, thank you for your time. Thank you, Paul. And uh, the event tonight that was hosted by the Chamber was a great success for Gatos for the uh, Young Professionals Network as well. So thank you for Appreciate coming it. in tonight. Thank you. Any other comments or questions of a general nature? Mr. Anderson. Yes, good evening. Uh, Wayne Anderson, 4805 Cross Street, Downers Grove. Uh, this comment is in reference to the newly passed uh, chicken coop ordinance in uh, Downers Grove and this has been playing on my mind for several weeks and I just thought well I'll express my views uh, which more or less is in the form of a prediction. Uh, when we had the last discussion meeting on the chicken coop ordinance uh, the council was kind of split and then some of the council said well in the spirit of moving forward and compromise where neither side uh, is happy in a compromise, uh, they would go with the consent clause instead of the wide open, uh, you know, doesn't matter if your neighbor likes it or not. Uh, then on the night that the ordinance was passed, several members of the village council made remarks more or less referencing the fact that uh, this ordinance could be changed later and that consent could be uh, changed later, uh, more or less referencing the fact that down the road uh, the consent clause be, could be getting rid of. Uh, 
as a semi-professional fortune teller, I have a feeling that in one or two years this matter once again will be brought up by the uh, uh, chicken coop uh, fanciers and also probably supported by some members of the council uh, to therefore take away the compromise and get rid of the consent clause and go to uh, anyone can have a chicken coop and it doesn't matter what the neighbor thing, uh, thinks. It's kind of like a lot of things where it's the camel's nose under the tent. In this case, it's half of the camel under the tent. And then once the tent camel is halfway in, later on things change and the entire camel is in. Therefore, I think it's like a domino effect that could be coming. I hope I'm wrong, but uh, I just feel that down the road, uh, there'll be a big movement to get rid of the consent clause altogether. So that's my little speech. So, Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Appreciate okay. your comment. Thank you. Any other comments of a uh, general nature for matters not appearing on tonight's agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on to item number five on our agenda. Council member reports. Commissioner Jose? No report. Thank you. Commissioner Rankin? No report. Thank you. Commissioner Barnett? No report. Commissioner Olson? No report. Commissioner Durkin. Well, I'm going to break that streak. I actually do. have a semi-report. I had the opportunity to attend the uh, uh, Midwestern University scholarship golf outing this past Friday. Uh, I understand that there were several meetings going on, so many of us were not able to be there, but I made it to the event. It was extremely well attended. And they had the opportunity to meet with the dean of the dental school, who's actually in instrumental in having the dental students themselves out in the public, one of them, uh, as we recall, was the dental students are uh, were out at the uh, Heritage Grove or Heritage Fest? No, right? What am I doing? Rotary Grove, Grove Fest. Yeah, Rotary Grove Fest, um, and uh, they were out uh, last year, and they'll be out again this year. And they're also looking to come out for the annual uh, car show. So they actually said that by doing that, they've gotten quite a few patients uh, for the student body to work on, which is great news. So it was well attended, and and uh, you know it's always good to see Dr. G and the rest of the staff, considering the amount of monies that they pour into the campus and into the community for the uh for the school itself for the university itself so uh, that was it thank you thank you commissioner uh, a couple things for me on our website at downers.us there's a lot of really great inf important information uh community is invited to participate in the july 4th parade troop 57 if you aren't already in the july 4th parade you guys uh, have the opportunity to join the parade it looks like you might already be in it which is great we'll look forward to seeing you there uh, but businesses, blocks, organizations, community groups, not-for-profit organizations are all welcome to join us uh, in the Community Fourth of July Parade. Uh, lots of great information on our website. Also, uh, we had a couple inquiries about the Metra uh, update on the Main Street platform. They uncovered some unforeseen issues when they removed the platform. That's why the construction has uh, seemed to halt. I think today it looked like there was a little bit more activity down there uh, on the platform. So work is continuing but it is at a slightly different schedule than they may have anticipated in the beginning. So uh, there's a lot of information and, uh, inf uh, on our website on that matter as well. All right, item six, public hearings. There is no public hearing tonight. Here on to item seven, our consent agenda. Uh, I will add one more thing to the consent agenda while Mayor Tully gets settled. Uh, we are going to remove item H from the consent agenda. Uh, resolution to authorize a First Amendment to the Housing Community Development Agreement with DuPage County. We can remove that from the consent agenda and move on from there. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as amended? So moved. Second. Any discussion or questions from the audience on the consent agenda? Any comments or questions from the members of Village Council? I have one. Uh, the CAFR is on the consent agenda. It's very important to note. Uh, as some of us who sit up here we may remember the unfriendly term management letter. Uh, another year here where we do not have a management letter. A management letter is like when you go to get your home loan or a mortgage at home and there's something they find in your credit report that's not so great and they give you a kind of a ding on your credit and the Village of Downers Grove has successfully managed our budget and finances for a number of years to not have any management letters or dings on our budget. Uh, it's a great success and a great uh, accomplishment from our finance department and all of our departments who work together to get to that point. So 
Thank you, Judy, and everybody in your team and all the directors for the hard work with the, uh, the budget. And that's all I have tonight, Mayor. Roll call, please. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> I just want to add, uh, maybe we can ask uh, our finance director, Judy Bunny, to get up, and get up and give us the gap definition of ding. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Durkin might be more... Uh... Yeah, no such word. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the CAFR is a great achievement. And like we've said many times before, regarding the awards that we receive from IGFOA and GFOA, these awards are becoming expectations. And it's just setting the bar higher for the village and staff and expectations from not only council, but also the residents. So uh, I echo what Commissioner Newstat said. Well, job well done. Reed, roll call, please. Commissioner Durkin? Uh, aye. Commissioner Olson? Aye. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Rankin? Aye. Commissioner Barnett? Aye. Commissioner Newstad? Aye. Mayor Tully? Aye. Consent agenda passed unanimously. And I'll just pause to say I am uh, not only late, but wet, thanks to Metro. <laughs> So it's getting better. <laughs> How about that platform construction, huh? We already had that covered. You have to watch the minutes. Yeah. We have I don't have to watch the minutes. I can just uh, wipe the rain off my suit here. Yeah, yeah, that's just funny. You know, there was a saying about when the trains run on time, and you know, that's for another day. Uh, we'll move on to our uh, active agenda. We have no items on our active agenda tonight. Uh, <coughs> because we removed the one item for another uh, consideration at a later point in time. So it brings us to our first reading agenda. We have two items on our first reading agenda, or what's also known as our workshop agenda, where items are presented for discussion and uh, consideration only and for action at a future point in time. As is customary, we ask our village staff to please present those items for discussion. So I'll turn over the presentation to Village Manager David Fieldman. Thank you, Mayor Tully. The first item is consideration of an ordinance classifying certain fire investigators as peace officers. And here to explain this action is our fire chief, Jim Jackson. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Good evening, Chief slash President. How are well, you? Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tonight, I'm, tonight I'm here to present an ordinance uh, classifying certain fire department and fire investigators as uh, peace officers. Uh, back in 2000, the Village Council adopted an ordinance identifying these, these members. Um, and these fire investigative team members go undergo specific training for fire and arson investigation to be classified and to be certified from the Office of the State Fire Marshal. So real short, the, uh, the, the ordinance prepared for this evening will update the current members of the Fire Department investigative team that can be classified as peace officers for the village. I guess I'll entertain any kind of questions you might have for this evening. Thank you, Chief. Questions or comments from the audience? I think Troop 57 has a question, right? No? <laughs> You're taking a lot of notes over there. <laughs> They are taking a lot of notes. Well done. We'd like to see that. Uh, someday you might be qualified as a peace officer, too. Any questions or comments from members of the Village Council? Hearing none. Next item. Thank you, Chief. Thanks, Jim. Uh, next item is consideration of an ordinance authorizing the transfer of funds related to unclaimed bonds. And here to present this uh, item is our finance director, Judy Butney. Ms. Butney, good evening. Now good you can evening. really come up. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Um, staff has prepared an ordinance to authorize a transfer of $14,326 to the general fund. This is for unclaimed construction bond proceeds. Uh, per the municipal code, these bonds were noticed in the Downers Grove Suburban Life paper. And of course, this was done only after repeated attempts to contact the bondholders, um, phone calls, letters, etc. Be happy to entertain any questions. Thank you. Anyone in the audience who it's your last chance to claim any of those funds? <laughs> <laughs> going once, going twice. Any questions from the audience with respect to this item? Questions to the village council? Commissioner Durkin. Do we, and I meant to look this up, this isn't a budgeted line item or anything in the budget, is it? It's not. Okay, do we know what in the previous years what the dollar amount has been that we've uh, transferred into the general fund? We, have, we haven't done it for a lot of years. It's been four or five years since we did it. Uh, one of the last management letter comments from many years ago was that we should do a better job of uh, trying to go after these. Uh, it's been since 2008, actually. Uh, so at that time, we went through a process that generated uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars 
Uh, but now we're all caught up and we do this as a regular practice, so now you're going to see much smaller amounts. And of course our goal is to not take any of this into revenue. We want to give back to the builders Correct. and development community the bonds that they submitted. And I see in here that we, we are publish, publicizing this in the Downers Grove Suburban Life newspaper. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't even know who gets that anymore because it's no longer on people's driveways. It's not on mine. I don't even know who even okay. reads that. Could we look at possibly the Tribune or Sun Times or some form of media, even on our website, that this is out there? We can do that. Because if we really, if the intent, which I understand. It, it is, is on our website. It is on our We have posted it on our website as well. Okay, and where is it at? On, we don't have to do it right now. We can do, show me offline. But we can just do a better job, in my opinion, outside of the spur of the life. Nothing wrong with the paper, but just a better job of communicating sure. it. I would appreciate it. No problem. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Commissioner. Are there questions or comments from members of the council? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And that ends our first reading tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Terrific. Thank you very much. It brings us item 10 on the mayor's report. Two things very quickly. First, my apologies to Troop 57 for not being here earlier to welcome you. And uh, thank you for leading us in the pledge. My uh, appreciation to uh, Mayor Pro Tem Newstat for uh, taking care of that while I wrestled with Metro. Uh, the other thing I would have mentioned under item 5, but I'll, uh, I'll utilize executive privilege right now to do so under the mayor's report. I just want to remind all residents of Downers Grove that the um, annual Relay for Life in support of the American Cancer Society is taking place here at Downers Grove North High School on Friday, June 27th, meeting at 5 o'clock. In case you don't know where that is, for those of you who are uh, limited to uh, GPS locations, that's at 4436 Main Street in Downers Grove. It is actually the Relay for Life for Downers Grove and Woodridge, so residents from both Downers Grove and Woodridge come together uh, to raise funds and get together, have a good time. Uh, celebrate the life of those who survived and also to remember and observe those who unfortunately fell to cancer. It's a great event. It's been happening in Downers Grove for many, 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 many years. It was uh, briefly conducted outside of Downers Grove when District 99 was undergoing their construction at Downers Grove North High School. Uh, but now that that's completed, the event is back where it belongs. Um, I just wanted to uh, mention that anyone is interested in participating and you haven't done so yet, uh, you can visit the Relay for Life Downers Grove and Woodridge website. Just type that in, it'll come right up. Uh, it will make it very easy for you. I've created a team called Village of Downers Grove, and uh, we already have 260 bucks raised for the uh, American Cancer Society as part of this event. I would encourage anyone who's interested in con contributing on behalf of uh, the Village of Downers Grove, not the Village of Downers Grove, but the Village of Downers Grove, meaning <laughs> the community of Downers Grove, not the organization. It's not, it's not coming to 801 Burlington. Uh, it's going to the American Cancer Society. I would encourage you to visit the site, sign up on the team. We are running a little friendly competition with Woodridge to see how many people we can get on the Downers Grove side versus uh, the Woodridge side. And I know that Mayor Gina Cunningham of, of Woodridge will be at the event as well. So I would encourage all residents of Downers Grove, I figure we have them by population easy, right? So this ought to be a no-brainer. Uh, please visit the site. Uh, come on out. It's a great event if you haven't been to it before. And if you're going to come out anyway, I would encourage you to sign up under the Village of Downers Grove team on the website. And uh, we'll see who meets the race to raise funds to uh, battle cancer. Uh, I think all of us know someone who's been touched by it, if not touched by ourselves. Uh, so again, June 27th, 2014, Downers Grove North High School, 5 o'clock p.m. You do not have to spend the night there. Just come out and support a good cause. Uh, so end of my report. That brings us to item 11, manager reports. Back to Mr. Fieldman. No report tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Terrific. That brings us to item 12, attorney's report. Ms. Petrarca. Thank you, Mayor. Two items to present this evening. The first is an ordinance authorizing the transfer of funds held by Village and Unclaimed for more than four years as of December 31st, 2008 and an ordinance classifying certain fire investigators as peace officers by the Village of Downers Grove. Both will be on next week's active agenda. Fantastic. Thank you. That brings us to item 13, council member new business. Do any members of the Village Council have any items of new business they would like to share with their colleagues? Commissioner Newstat. It's a very important one. I hope 257 can help us. Today is Mayor Tully's birthday. So, you guys want to come back up here and help us sing every birthday to the mayor? Are you not better yet? How about if the mayor makes a contribution so it's not solid? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> The total amount raised for a real life for life just went up to 500 bucks. <laughs> I think you'll be making that $500 donation. Come on back up, guys, and I want to hear some cha-cha-chas and ooh-la-las, too. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that in the Rotary Club. Right, everybody ready? All right. Happy birthday, Mayor. Thank you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mayor Tully. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Commissioner. I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone. Appreciate it. I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday evening than with all of you at a village council meeting. Seriously. Um, and I do think that having to sing that means you guys get two badges now. <laughs> I think that's how that works. I'm going to take that back. If you don't get one, call me, all right? We'll, I'm sure we'll come up with some uh, special pins for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, any other business, new business thing wants to raise? Hearing none, uh, we do have a motion to convene into closed session tonight. Commissioner Newstead. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I move to convene into closed session tonight pursuant to Section 2C5 of the Illinois Open Meeting Act to consider the purchase or lease of real property for the use of the village or whether a particular parcel should be acquired. I also move to convene into closed session per pursuant to Section 2C6 of the Illinois Open Meetings Act to consider the setting of a price for sale or lease of property owned by the village. Second. Any questions or comments with respect to the motion? Hearing none, roll call, please. Commissioner Neustadt? Aye. Commissioner Durkin? Aye. Commissioner Jose? Aye. Commissioner Olson? Aye. Commissioner Rankin? Aye. Commissioner Barnett? Aye. Mayor Tully? Aye. We are adjourned.